So now I'll take a test cut of um, uh, one millimeter in. This is a 25 millimeter diameter bar, just a flat faced cutter like this. Um, 15 millimeter uh, length and uh, the turning parameters suggest this to me that I should take this in two passes plus a finish pass but I will be bold then to test it at one and it says one uh, pass at um, 0.9 uh, millimeter plus a, a finish cut so let's see, that's double of what is suggested. mild steel bar okay it even took some more there but then it takes a finish pass just uh, tenth of a millimeter Just checking to see the temperature here but it's cool I'm running 643 rpm so at uh, four hundredths per revolution Now I will take it at uh, 1.5 millimeter in feed, just to try. Might be too optimistic, but uh, nevertheless, that's how we find out how good this is, or how, what, at what point it will stall. Actually, so uh, just to a 10 uh, mil length. So just to me four passes, but I will take it in one. Okay. Let's see. This was kind of brutal, wasn't it? I think we are close to stalling now. That was um, leaves, leaves one tenth of a millimeter for the finish pass, but I mean the majority would was on there. So um, And uh, yeah, the tool used is just one with the chip breaker. Sorry, here. But otherwise, it's straight. So I'm sort of facing directly in like that. Okay. Good. Well, let's give it 750 RPM, something like that. And then we have um, 10 millimeter to the left, that means um, unset. And uh, as an X, we have 2 millimeter in, which means quite hefty in feed. And if you try to, to use that, we can start the turning operation and it says there he, this machine wants to go four turns of 
four cycles. If I dramatically increase that, to take the hole um, in one, I have a 1.9 millimeter in plus a tenth uh, of a millimeter uh, finishing pass. And uh, the feed rate is uh, four hundredths of a millimeter per revolution. So here we go. Two millimeter in. It's loads the machine quite heavy as you can see. The ELS is, of course, a constant feed. I'm not certain about uh, this being the optimum uh, speed, but this is what I've been using, so I'll just uh, continue with that. I will try to get uh, an even deeper infeed than uh, two millimeters, so I can, uh, I think, uh, tilt this sideways or use this uh, this tool instead I can try the latter option first and then uh, set zero and uh, and move in now move in closer and um, see now I've uh, set down the feed rate to 200 per revolution and uh, the machine or the ELS controller suggests to me that I should uh, part this into six passes but instead I'll take that as uh, one pass so let's go here it's on the verge of stalling but actually it performs that's not bad Am I for being able to take a 3 mm infeed? See, with sufficient uh, oiling or coolant. And then the, the finish pass. So it was 2.9 mm in. Actually, so that's um, the diameter reduction of 5.8 millimeters. And of course, uh, this is more like uh, how you would want to do it. Uh, namely that if you should go in that much, you would uh, part this, like the uh, controller says, now into six, uh, six uh, passes. You can increase the feed rate. let's try that also so that's of course no problem this is probably much more like what you should do the very end there because of the not not flat faced I would have um, a small uh, amount where it is taking the food with and then the finish pass And then it parks the tool out and away.
course this is much more likely what you would do and then you can experiment with with of course a lot more feed i guess so take take it four times as uh, as fast that also functions but as you can hear loads the machine again Although it functions.